Well, we made Ross in the last episode. 223 kilometres from Winnie, where we live. Put your hat on. <laughs> We're in the shade, look. Put your hat on. We're in the shade. Put your hat on. You gotta be sun smart, babe. See, she does do what she's told sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we're in Ross for the night, aren't we, babe? Ross. It is a little bit. What? Ross in Ross. Ross oh, in that Ross. Sounds funny. It is a little bit um, windy good. here, so the mic could pick that up a bit. It doesn't sound good. No, but we're coming up to the third oldest bridge in Australia, right here. Aren't we, babe? There we go, right down there. Come down here and have a little look, see, babe. This is it, right here. Right there, look at it. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, look, a little ducky's coming to say hello, babe. Oh, cool, we've got Yeah. Well, we could be having Peking duck here in a minute. It's a little bit windy, isn't it? A little bit, yes. If we go this way, we'll block the wind with our bodies, mm. won't we? But this is the bridge right here. This is the other side of the bridge here. Beautiful, isn't it? Uh, come with me, babe. Yeah, I'm Okay. Want to go for a swim? No. Okay. That's a bit breezy. What? Here's the other part of it. I'm kind of expecting a um, canoe to come out of the tunnel. No, it won't, babe. It won't happen. That's where we come from, up them steps. So with all this wind noise and everything, this is the third oldest bridge in Australia, isn't it, babe? What At Ross. Mean? No, in Australia. Wow. In Australia, babe. Wow. Yes. Ross Bridge is an historic bridge in the town of Ross in central Tasmania, Australia. Completed in July 1836, it crosses the Macquarie River. The sandstone bridge was constructed by convict labour and is the third oldest bridge still in use in Australia. Tassie's known for a couple of things now, aren't they? Old bridges and bogans. Yeah, <laughs> old bogans. <laughs> old bogans, yes. But we're walking up towards the main street here at the moment in the beautiful little township of Ross in the Midlands, aren't we? The pretty riverside village of Ross was built by convict labour in the early 1800s and has been so well preserved that visitors can still enjoy a genuine piece of history today. Ross is arguably the finest 19th century village in Australia. Cobble style paths and grand old elm trees line the main street. While the Ross Bridge, Australia's third oldest bridge still standing, is possibly the most beautiful of its kind left in the world. Any koalas, babe? We don't have them here. No, we don't have them don't here, do we? No, nah, sorry. Sorry, babe. <laughs> Look at that beautiful old church up there in the background there. Yep. We'll go up there in a minute. To get married? No, not to get married, babe. Ross Female Factory. This is where we're taking <laughs> you, babe. Give <laughs> you trading. Uh, okay. Beautiful right? historic buildings, aren't they? Look at them. Nice, very nice. It's like stepping, stepping back in time, isn't it? Yeah. There's the pub over there, babe, in the bottle shop. Not that we go there very often. Oh, look, it's like stepping back in time real because there's a Suzuki over there. A Suzuki? That's not a Suzuki. I oh, know, I'm just kidding. Oh, geez, you're funny, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the virtual middle of town. We'll go uptown here first, okay? Look at that church there, guys. Is that not beautiful or what? Is it sandstone? And I tell you what, you find this up through, up through the Midlands, don't you, sweetie? Yep. Of course, it's absolutely beautiful area. Everyone needs to come to the Midlands. A prominent hilltop beacon, the United Church is one of Ross's notable historic buildings. Formerly the Methodist Church, it opened in 1885, built from stone from the local Bowfront quarries. Well, 
Right, we're in the main street, right in the heart of town right now, aren't we both? We are. See? Right here. Oops, oh, sorry guys. Right beautiful. here. It is absolutely beautiful place. Do what? This is in the middle. Well, not the middle of Tassie, but getting towards the middle of Tassie, isn't it, sweetie? Midlands. Yes, on the way to Hobart. And it's an oasis, isn't it? In a dry area. Anyway, we'll go down here and we'll keep having a look. Yeah, this is the bakery. Oh, The little lolly shop. Where? Over there, post office, yes. Yeah. Very old, isn't it? Yeah. We'll go across there and have a look, Very eh? Nice okay, we'll go across and have a look in a sec. Right. Look at that nice old post office there, will you? Kim might get a photo of that. Ross Post Office opened on the 1st of June 1832. By the time of Australian Federation in 1901, Ross had four churches, a post and telegraph office, a savings bank, one hotel, and a town hall and library. There's the old post office right there. Why don't you come to Ross, guys? Come hey? to Ross and you can see us. Yeah, you come to Ross. Well, we won't be here. Today? Today, yes. Saturday, today. the 29th. Yes, because these small towns need the help, especially at the moment with that coronavirus going around. A lot of these places are fairly sleepy at the moment compared to what they normally are, aren't they? They are. Yes. So we're just going down here, this beautiful green leafy area, and we're going to have a look see what's down here. Hey. There you go, here's an old building for you to buy, babe. Look. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. I don't know how much it is. It's a house. Yeah, that's cool. Yes. Probably, we, um, probably, we, yeah. We can't inject too much into this town tonight because we'll be dipping into our holiday money. We are not touching holiday money. There goes my hat. Oh no, how are you going to get that? Look, my hat's gone. <laughs> We're in someone's house here. Look out, look out for a dog. Look out for a dog, babe. Right. <laughs> look out for a Doberman. <laughs> it's the second time Rusty's hat's gone today. I think you can tie it, <coughs> can you? No. No? No, not my big head, babe. Right, this is another bakery. We've got to see where they're going to serve brekkie because we might need brekkie before we go in the morning. We have brekkie in our room. Oh. Or is that going tonight? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be in here. Uh, traditional wood fired. Are there pizzas in there? Yes. Do they? No, I don't think so. Yeah, they would. No, it's only a bakery. World's greatest vanilla sloppers. Mm, yeah. Did you want to buy one to take back to the thing? No. No? Okay. Okay, Ross Bakery Inn. This is it here. Convict built in 1832, the Ross Bakery Inn is a classic Georgian house built from Ross sandstone with a permanent listing in the Tasmanian Heritage Register. Originally named the Sherwood Castle Inn, it served for many years as a coaching inn and horse chain station on the Hobart Road. Well, yeah, no, nah, she's injected money into the town. This, yeah, that place there, she's injected. I'll show you later what she brought. Yes, not an engagement ring either, guys. It's Australian made. It, it is Australian made, but we have injected. Oh, well, no, that's the second bit of money we've injected into this town now, isn't it? Bought a carton. Oh, yeah, no, it's third bit, babe. <laughs> What's the first? Well, we paid for our motel. Oh, yes. Yeah, for our motel. Anyway, we'll keep going. And we're going along up here, and there's lots more here to see yet. And buy. And <laughs> <laughs> there goes the right. holiday money. Yeah. Kim's going into these phone boxes. She reckons she's going to ring a friend, but I don't think she is. Wait, go in you go. We'll have a look in here. <laughs> Listen to our story. Listen to our stories. What do you got there? Look. Oh no, this one's broken. <laughs> Come to the next one. Old phone boxes. I used to ring all my old girl. I used to ring <laughs> I used door, I used to ring all my old girlfriends in post what post boxes like here? this. Show us what Look you're at doing. her. No. Show me what you're doing. I can't here. I can't show you. It was I dark. I can't get on the beach. Go on, ring me, ring me. <laughs> ring me. What's it? It's a real phone, babe. But you had money. Yeah I know. I haven't got any money, so it's <laughs> <laughs> Okay, come out of there. Stop playing with their stuff in Ross. <laughs> can I play with Russ in Ross? Yeah, you can play with Russ in Ross. Alright. 
next port of call. What is the time? Ah, it's only three o'clock, guys, so we've got plenty of drinking time left yet. <laughs> that's all you're worried about. <laughs> no, that's not all I'm worried about. And look, an old post box. Yeah, this is the post office, mate. Metal. This is the post office that we um, oh, yeah. took photos of. Right. Yeah, no, we've done a couple of laps of this town already. Now we're thirsty. So where are we going? Yes, we're going over to the Manor Ross Hotel, aren't we, babe? We're going to go and get a cider? Yep. Okay. Hey, what? Manor Ross was the woman. Manor Ross. Manor Ross. Okay. Women of Ross. Women of Ross? Yeah, there was a women factory up there somewhere. <laughs> okay, so we're in the Manor Ross Hotel, aren't we, babe? The Manor Ross. Manor Ross. Man of Russ or Man of Ross? There's the Man of Ross. It is, it's a quaint old, old old hotel, this, isn't it? It is. Look at it. And where we are going to have tea here tonight, aren't and we? And what we've had. Yes. Let's show them. What is it? Frank's Cherry Pear Cider. That's it's something different. Made in Hewenville, Tasmania. Yes. So, don't tell us we're not supporting no towns. Because we're doing it, aren't we, babe? Sniff it. Taste it. Rate it. Tastes like beer. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a cider, guys. But anyway, <laughs> this is it here. The Manor Ross Hotel. And that's young Kimmy there. Still nice out here. Okay. So we've just come out of the Manor Ross Hotel. Very nice. <laughs> if that ain't fake, what is <laughs> fake, hey? <laughs> we've just come out of that, that hotel. Very nice little hotel. Lighting, babe, for your camera. Lighting later on, babe. Pub should look nice under lights, shouldn't it? Yep. We'll bring the camera back with us. Um, what I was saying was the publican, very nice lady, isn't she, babe? Yeah. She's yeah, got there a bed is a, and breakfast, isn't she? She's got a bed at breakfast up, up this way, up a hill. Up that way. Yeah. But I don't think we're going to go for a walk up that way, are we? No. No, I didn't think we were. We'll come across here because we can shoot down here, babe. And we'll have a look. What's out for traffic, babe? Shoot, shoot a cannonball. Yeah. Shoot a cannonball. Down the street. Yeah. <laughs> bit of a memorial there. The Ross War Memorial stands very conspicuously and proudly at the main intersection of Church and Bridge Streets, more commonly known as the Four Corners of Rock, and pays tribute to 118 men from the district who enlisted and served in the Boer War, World War I, World War II and Korea. The memorial dates back to when the Boer War Memorial to Trooper A.E. Fitzalan was publicly unveiled on the 16th of December 1903. That memorial was later moved to its present position, where it now stands beside the BL 15 pounder Mark 1, number 788 Anglo Boer War field gun. Whence the way we come? We came this way. No, we, we didn't. This we come this way. We did, because yeah. our motel down here. And there's the bridge. Oh, it is turned. Yes. So we live over there. We live over there, through there. But we're going back down here to have a look at this bridge again. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Where are you? Down here, go. Wave. Come down here. I don't know. I don't know where he's taken me. Come down here. Here he is. Come down here. Coming up from the steps of hell at the moment. There's hell. There's hell there. <laughs> but isn't it beautiful, guys? Come on, guys, get here. Get here. I tell you, get here. Get the Ross. Hey, get the Ross. Hey? What do you reckon, Ross? Hey, do you reckon, babe? What? Hey, there's a head there. Look, there's head. There's Dicky Nutty. That's like Dicky Nutty, isn't it? Look at this, guys. Lover's Lane. So, this must be a dirty weekend. Oh, is <laughs> This is Lover's Lane, apparently, guys. Down, down here in Ross. Now, I think the GoPro's going to turn off soon, babe. Let's go smooching. Smooching. Are you back with me there, sweetie? Yeah? Yeah, I'm here. This. That's a seat. You sit on that side. It's a lover's seat. Oh, lovers. 
Yeah, see, and then it's got the grass. Hey, you go here like this. Where are you? Are you there? <laughs> <laughs> it's a lover's seat. It's a love heart. I can't Can you see, see you. Through it? What? Oh, it would have been better if you could see through it. I can't see you. Maybe that's the best way. Probably. <laughs> you don't know who it is you're meeting there here. There you go. You've got a sign there telling you what it's about. It's a secret meeting place. Oh. You know, it's like when you go in a church and you're confessing your sins. Oh, I wouldn't have enough time to confess my sins, babe. Are you coming or are you waiting for a lover? I was waiting for a lover. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. There's so many. I haven't found no lover yet. <laughs> I'm back here, babe. Oh, Come back here. You I'm... don't have to. The lane's running. <laughs> Take what you can get. <laughs> That's what I mean. I've got to come yeah. back now. Hey, <laughs> right, there's our motel over the road there. Wow. What are you doing? Seeing if there's anything up that tree. Right, it's a bit windy here, guys. I know you can probably hear that. That's our motel over there, so we'll head back there. We'll catch you later. Well, that's it, guys. We walked down to the river that night, sat there and watched the sunset. What a beautiful sight. Then walked up to the church, which was lit up just up on the hill. Absolutely stunning. Guys, very much so a well worth visit to Ross in the Midlands of Tasmania. <laughs> <laughs>